Because I'm sure you guys remember this thing. <laughs> I didn't post the last video. I worked on the, I replaced the exhaust, exhaust uh, manifold on this thing. It had a major leak with the gasket actually between the flanges there, but I just figured it was better to go ahead and replace the whole thing. So we did that. That was fun. But now it's come back and has a terrible misfire. It's running hot. Um, I noticed when he brought it that, oh, well, you know what, thermostat might open now. We got fluid up here, so that's, that's something. So that's a good thing. Okay, so, let's see if we can open this carefully, since it's still hot. I should get a rag, I don't know. Well, I don't feel any pressure, really, so I'll play with that later. But anyway... Like I said, it's running rough, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. It's been cooling down for about an hour now, so hopefully. See, we've got new spark plugs. It's got a couple of cylinder misfire, if not probably two, I'd imagine. None of the gauges work, so obviously we're not going to have too much help here. So you see that the oil pressure gauge has gone crazy. Temp gauge has gone down. It was up past the 210 earlier. So, yeah, it's showing a lot lower now, so she's definitely cooler. So, let's go ahead and start it up and see how it runs. See, obviously you have no tag. Oh, oh it's trying. That RPM gauge is sort of kind of working here and there, so we don't really know what the story is of that. Yeah, she's definitely got quite the shake to the engine. Can't really see the vibration from the camera, obviously, but she is shaking. Let's hear the exhaust. You can hear it quite the mist. You can see the exhaust shaking there. You can hear something going rain. rain. Oh, we got the we got its uh, some electrical system doing its own dance here. <laughs> so yeah, so basically we're gonna pull the we'll shut her down now. So basically we're going to pull the air intake box off, see what's going on with the coil packs, maybe pull the spark plugs just to see how they look since we have new ones anyway. And this was a junkyard replacement motor, so you know they definitely didn't take the time to replace those. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and pull that off here now. I got a straight edge screwdriver for to pull off these two clamps. You got a vacuum line right there, it's got to come off. So, good. I'm gonna turn that ignition off. I can hear that binging way out here. Get to that in a second. This did have bolts in it, obviously. There should have been a 10 mil there, I think. But somebody had this apart some time ago whenever they swapped the motor and did put half the bolts in it. So, let's see if we can't dig one of those up out of the toolbox, maybe. I'm hoping maybe it's just a bad spark plug that just been past its time, but. Uh, it's causing the motor to heat up unevenly because, like I said, that hose right there was straight air until I let the uh, vehicle sit. And now it seemed like the thermostat opened and it's got fluid in it now. So, I don't know. We'll see. Pop that off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll we'll pop him off first for safety. I should be able to just wiggle this thing off. If it's not, yeah, it's not even bolted down. Well, there you go. <laughs> so little PCV hose is supposed to be back there too or something? It looked like there was a connection on the bottom for one. <clears throat> or something. The line that goes, what, right there in the back of the box? Oh no, that's because of the front right here to this, yeah. Oh, that hose has definitely seen better days. So, anyway. Looks like we got some pieces of the hood thing up here. So, they did have this off at one point for something. So, a couple of the coil packs look like maybe they've been replaced. I'm not really sure. So, we're going to go ahead and loosen the bolts and pull them up and take a look here. Okay, so, got the air intake out of the way. So, we're going to go ahead and loosen these coil pack bolts. On each one, they're a 10 millimeter. I already loosened the first one, as you can see. So, I'm just going to do this just to pull each one to see what cylinder is and firing. And hopefully we'll go from there and pull the plug. I'm going to change all the plugs anyway. This is just to identify what cylinder is acting up. So hopefully we'll get some information from this. 
So just be careful when you get to break these bolts, obviously, because you don't want to snap them or shear them off. I got the crappy ratchet today, <laughs> so you'll have to excuse that. So, okay, we popped him loose, so we'll go ahead and do the others there. <laughs> Let's see if we get some illegal activity perhaps happening back here. <laughs> Okay, so we made some progress. We got all of them loose now. So they're all all free to move around. So we're gonna see them as best we can. Just to get them sitting on top of the spark plugs. Hopefully. <laughs> right. I'm get them a little pressed on, make sure they're hopefully getting on something. So we'll leave them like that. See if we can't get something to happen. So let's fire it up and see if we can get any differences out of the coil packs here. Hopefully, find something dead. See, so we can start. <laughs> That's the first thing, right? Yeah, it's still got a mess. Right, let's see which one. That's a good one there. There we go. That's a good one. Well, I think that coal pack's dead right there. That's a dead cylinder there. So that's dead. I don't know what happened if we were working there or not. So that's a good one. That's going. So we got one, one dead spark plug or one dead coil pack. That one right there. Now you know what? Actually, I think the coil pack is working because it does change the auto. But I think we have a dead spark plug right there. The other ones are good. Oh, I hate that first one. There we go. She dropped right in. So this one here is dead. We ain't getting nothing off this cylinder at all. So, all right, let's shut her off and figure out why. All right. So we're gonna pull the plugs anyway. But we know for sure that one cylinder there is dead. I'm not quite sure what cylinder that's going to be. <laughs> if I had the map or whatever, I would point that out. But anyway, from the front, it's the fourth one back. Well, one, two, three, yeah, number four from the front of the engine back. So number four is the one that's misfiring. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> Don't have the deck here, but that's what we're just going for vision. This is all just basic testing without the tool, so... But now we know that's a cylinder misfire there. So, like I said, well, uh, I think the coil pack actually is working because I did notice a drop whenever I would touch it down in there. So I'm hoping it's just a dead spark. Okay, so next day, got a new coil pack. Well, new oil, new old coil pack. Excuse me. I think I picked one, two up from the junkyard. One of which was already bad. I didn't catch on video because something was wrong with the camera there. But this one looks even in a worse condition than the other, so I'm not feeling too optimistic, but hey, it's worth a try, right? You know, we paid 10 bucks for both of them, so it's a 50-50 chance. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug it in. It's be better two-handed. i got to get a better way to hold the camera or something. There we go. I'm just going to set it up here. Out of the way, anyway, a little bit. Let's go ahead and. <laughs> What's up? All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give her a start here. I can hear the 
miss. We've got some power steering going on. Really good some snapping. Oh. Got a little spark. That sounds good. Trying to get seated in there. There we go. I think that cured it. Sounds like it was a bad coil pack the whole time. Like I thought. So, cool. Sounds a lot better now. So all sounds good. No more miss. Oh yeah, we got good power. Still learning with the new uh Oil pack there, <laughs> cold. She's running good though. Okay, so we got ourselves some handy dandy power steering fluid. It's a little leaks all over, but hey, it's only gonna leak out anyway, so <laughs> it is what it is. So, waiting on uh, the heavy duty jack to show up so we can get this thing in the air. Oh. That's the other thing. This thing also, transmission, since it was running hot with that coil pack not firing for about two weeks, um, <laughs> the transmission has a nasty shift from part to, uh, from reverse of drive or any gear, and then from when you're in drive and you try to accelerate, it slips right off the bat and you get a bang real badly in a second. Um, the fluid, here I'll show you in a minute once I'm going to fire it up here just so we see how uh, the coil pack's working. Yeah, that sounds, of course, a whole lot better. Uh, especially since we got a little hotter thing in there now. But yeah, it sounds a lot more like normal. So that cooler pack fixed that. Yeah, she's out on real good. I guess she's out on down a little bit. She's running real nice. Hear that muffler? I don't know. She's running pretty damn good. So we're gonna try to fix that muffler. See, that's gonna be one thing. But more importantly, we're gonna do the uh, transmission uh, filter and uh, new gasket. We're gonna change out about five quarts. Uh, we can do that. Pull the dipstick here. You can see it, but that fluid is mighty bad. Real brown, almost black. So, transmission fluid is definitely way past its time. As I'm sure the filter is as well. So, I'm going to be doing a video on dropping the pan, and we'll see what it looks like down underneath there when it's all said and done. I put it in gear, but I already got it positioned on another jack just to kind of get it off the ground for the bigger jack so got good power now though <laughs> yeah we got good power so that part's done at least we got the tranny gasket sitting there and in the back seat we got the filter and some fluid. So I guess we'll probably end up doing that tomorrow, actually, since it's late in the afternoon now. And uh we got something to do later on, so yeah. Anyway, so that's the coil pack into that, and uh, we're like so we'll be doing another series here on the transmission and see what's going on with that. So stay tuned for that.